Hello, how is everyone doing? So I thought I'd make another little weekly vlog because I had a lot of fun making the previous one. I'm back in London, back home after 45 days of traveling in Bali and Hong Kong. But yes, very excited to be back. A lot of things are happening and that's why I thought I'd bring you along. Okay, everyone, so to quickly explain to you what's happening. So we're at the season finale, race one of the London E3, Formula E. We're Where are you up, taking me? We're picking up Taya's pass. I have my season pass. So she can come in the paddock and the pits and the cool shit. I'm a videographer. Yeah. yeah. This is quite cool. Not even mine says that, and I've had mine all season. No? Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay, who got a better selfie? Let's see. I got my Didier, oh, drug Oh, mine's way better. He's an... Oh, then it's impossible. Now, it was really cool to get that behind the scenes look at what goes on at a Formula E race. And we even had the incredible opportunity to not only watch the race from the podium, but even the celebration. Okay, good morning. Hello. So, I am in a pretty good mood today, but I did start my day in probably the worst way possible, which is to be on your phone. I am currently in the search of the perfect camera bag. And I'm struggling. So, I have two bags. I have this hex bag that was supposed to be kind of my daily go-to-go -go bag. I never use it because Velcros aren't good. But if you just look how easy that is. Now, this bag. This is a Low Pro Tactic 450 second edition. All, all, all of my friends have these bags. You know, it's sturdy, it has like things that you can attach on. It has so much space. But on my recent trip to Asia, I've kind of come to a realization it is heavy and it is huge. And so with that being said, I'm now looking for a bag. That's my thing I hope to get sorted this week. So I got this thing from Ikea, which is incredible for putting things on, but I just haven't had the balls to trust it yet. Maybe I do know. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Okay, I think I finally trust this thing. Although, it's quite funny when you buy these little props, you don't even know what to put on them and how to really use them. Garrett has a white one, so we match it. Alexa, stop. Okay, go feet check. <laughs> we have really, really busted Air Forces Braggy pants, side shirt, Formula E videographer, baby Bosh Oh, crazy, look at that view We are fully here <laughs> So, in terms of gear, I was using my Sony A7S III with the 24-105 f4 lens, aka my favorite setup. And I also just want to say a big, big thank you to our friend Aaron, who got us involved this year. So today I've been looking at my Notion and I came across a page where I have a bunch of old projects. So I thought I'd show you a few examples of how much I used to charge in the past. Okay, so this is just an example of some jobs. Like I actually stopped writing all of this because I got lazy. But as you see, like let's say 2022, 170 pounds per TikTok, 250 per reel. That was zero pounds exchange for reels, which is interesting. I had a shoot 250 and then slowly kind of like hitting some sort of like 2023 was the year where a lot of things have changed. And I started like properly charging and kind of seeing what I could be charging. And then we had a big project here for 9.3K, you know, 2,500. So this is like already decent. That was really, I was really happy with that than 4k but it's interesting because those projects that are like 250 pounds and 350 pounds and 500 pounds were actually the projects that probably took me way longer than the projects that i have been paid recently those take me way less time and they're so much more fun to make but yeah i, I like seeing this progress and this is what i want to focus on for the next six months or you know just in general Got to this the 
nearby park to play some football because it's a beautiful day today and living here that doesn't happen really often so I better make the most out of it. I feel like when you're starting out your freelance career, you're so focused on yourself, as in like, you're so focused on how you can get clients and get work and kind of just make a living out of whatever your passion is. But then let's say once you potentially reach that goal, you start to realize that in order to feel more fulfilled, it becomes more about how you can help other people with your skills. You know, and I feel like there's more to me than just making videos, although, I do think, yes, making videos is my purpose, but then I don't think I found my thing thing yet. I don't know if any of this makes sense, but yes. Okay, I'm done with this. I've been trying to call up council tax for the past two days. Haven't been able to get them on the phone because I'm keep getting this notice, although I'm paying everything on time. But now something happens and I'm s speechless. Today was supposed to be just a normal day behind the desk. No ground floor. But... Hi, is this my Uber? Yeah. So for anyone that doesn't really understand what's happening right now... <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> he just um, messaged me to come outside and he booked a car for a day. To just drive around, I guess. So one reason why we don't have a car here is because of parking and it, because it's really expensive and driving in the center, you also need to pay additional like 25 pounds a day because- That's driving. London, mate. That's London. Good? Yeah, it's a very good beer, I have to say. So, first question. The reason I wasn't in at a point of giving up is because before I started getting brands reaching out to me, I had income coming in, maybe not as much, and maybe it wasn't as enjoyable. Before brands st started reaching out to me, 90% of my income was video editing. You can't really skip any steps in this creation journey. Like everything comes as you go. So, you know, at first you're gonna probably get low paid jobs that you won't enjoy as much, but those jobs are so important because if you are just completely starting out and you, you've been given a budget of 10 grand from your favorite brand in the world you, you probably out. yeah you probably will have no idea what to do with that so even though you may feel like you're right now not at a point where you want to be like all those things that you're doing right now are making sense for the long term maybe now i'm at a point where i'm like oh i wish i had bigger jobs but i know that will happen eventually if i just keep doing what i'm doing right now anything to add no that's the juice right there keep <laughs> keep going people <laughs> As I tackle these Greenwich speed bumps. Oh, we're in Greenwich already! Oof. I actually used to edit on Premiere Pro since I started my video journey, which was in around 2014. And I only switched to DaVinci fully in March. Although I've had DaVinci for the past two years because I've been kind of grading there anyway. And the reason I switched to DaVinci is because I like to grade as I go. Oh, and it's also one-off payment. And you have a free version, which pretty much does most of the things. But at the end of the day, they are editing softwares and pretty much they are the same thing. What did you do differently that caused you to be recognized and be a popular content creator? Definitely not a popular content creator, but... So my audience on Instagram started growing last June. I posted two videos that did really well. And by that I mean it, they got like 150k views. But from those videos, I got to 10k and then Artlist reposted one of my videos. And that 
got me to like 13k i literally did a video editing outside on my laptop because yeah because i knew that if i just did it sitting down in my desk it would just be like any other sitting down video people want value and people want cool locations so put the two together people <laughs> apparently I'm realizing I need a C stand in my life so I can get some top down shots. Currently going through a little struggle that hopefully we can fix today. It doesn't. This is the DJI Iris Stream Mini Gimbal. And because this gimbal is small, sometimes it actually doesn't hold the weight that DJI says that it can carry. And there's a solution to this this extended vertical support by Small Rig. I have three! Why? They don't properly work. Now the first one that I ordered was completely loose. The second one works, but it's not perfectly fine. Will the third one be the one? As you can see, it doesn't go on. I have about a million things from Small Rig. The fact that I had to buy three, and technically all of them are faulty, is uh, very, very, very disappointing. <laughs> it's here. It Thank you very much. Okay, so if you weren't following my stories on Instagram, I lost my drone in Hong Kong. Oh shit, shit, shit. Because I have the DJI refresh, I've been sent a new drone, but I had to pay 180 pounds for this. Oh, here it is. Oh, I missed you. It's not even mine. Since I received the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, I thought it'd be super fun to make an unboxing video. So Gareth and I made this setup, and I mean, just look at how bad this looks. And that's all because we don't have a C-stand. Anyways, we left the camera rolling for about 25 minutes, and after like 10 hours of editing, the video is done. I'm honestly so proud of it, so if you want to check it out, it's up on my Instagram. So, as you saw yesterday, Gareth and I were filming an unboxing video of the new Samsung Z Flip 6. And the reason we were filming that video is because I am now an official Samsung UK ambassador. In two days, I'm going to Paris for the Olympics with Samsung and I need to create one deliverable, so one reel. It's quite interesting because I know when the video goes live on Instagram in like a week and I know everything's gonna work out, but you here on my YouTube get to see that part of me being nervous, which I don't show on Instagram because it's almost just like a product of all the work that goes in behind the scenes. I'm very excited though to go to Paris. It's kind of crazy that I get to go with Samsung. Pika, for my vlog, what's happening? We're moving out. After how many years? Almost five. Ah, how do you feel? Oh. Cheese. What did you get? Oh, just just plain simple <laughs> margarita. <laughs> I got these because I'm not really hungry. <laughs> but not compared to yours. Oh, it looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good morning. Now, my journey to Paris was pretty hectic since the Olympics were going on and when I finally got to the hotel room, I only had about 20 minutes to shoot the scenes for my video. And to be fair, the whole day was kind of hectic and I forgot to vlog. But luckily, my friend Ben shot some really cool BTS from what we got up to. <laughs> now, this is not sponsored, but I did reach out to Wondered and they've been really kind to send me two of their bags. Instead of just going over the specifications, I'd better share with you what makes this bag different to the bags that I already have. 
it has four handles, one on each side. You can lock every zip. And what I also love is that you can access the laptop compartment from the side. Also, the side pockets are incredible because if you have nothing in, you can just lock it and it looks really clean. And for me, the main thing, it is way, way lighter than the bag that I previously had, but it is quite big, although it is 35 to 40 liters, which what can you expect? Keep in mind that this is a travel backpack that can be turned into a camera bag, so you'll need to buy the camera cube separately. Now, I do wish the camera cube had some sort of clipping system, just so it was a little bit more steady in the back. And I also wish that I got the bigger one, so I would be able to have the whole back um, you know, covered in a camera cube for all my equipment. And then something that I'm very, very thankful to Wonder for is the fact that they also sent me their 21 liter daily camera bag. It looks absolutely cool and you can also get a lot of these extra straps. You can unroll the top and I love the fact that the handles are magnetic which means that they always just stick together and everything looks really clean. And it's also really light and small and compact. Now thank you so much to Wonder for taking care of me and ultimately my back. And I guess with that I'm also gonna wrap up this vlog. Hope you have an amazing day and here's to more YouTube videos.